Hi guys. I've just got in the door. It's uh, nearly nine o'clock. Pretty much spent most of the Easter weekend so far at Mum's. Just to prove I just got in the door, still got my coat on. Oh. I just stopped off at Sainsbury's because I needed a pack of these. And Mum wanted to put some petrol in the car. And I had a t an attack of the runs, so I had to run to Sainsbury's toilet as well while I was in there. But I had white bread rolls for dinner. Which means, I think it's pretty certain that I'm intolerant to white bread. I don't get it like it anywhere near as bad on brown bread. Oh. Anyway, I'm just going to sign in on the PC. Put some food down for uh, the boss in a bit. Just had an accident with one of my Lego fire engines, I've just knocked it off the cabinet, so uh, that's a nice little job for later. Look at this, look. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> and you know what? I've broken more of my models than he has. And I ain't kidding. He's barely broken anything. He might knock the odd street light over when he's on my uh, town, but... I think he's only broken one, maybe two. It's very, very few. Very, very few. But I tripped over this Ethernet cable and I pulled on the model. I think it's just the back half of it that's uh, broken, so it should be an easy fix. Oh, I suppose I should put some food down. Just tripped over the fucking thing again. We have just had the worst torrential downpour in a long time. Um, we were doing, I'd say, from at least halfway home, we were doing no more than 20, 25 mile an hour because uh, it was coming down so heavy we couldn't see a thing. Right, so this baby That oh, was just an illusion. I was looking at the screen I thought what does it look like the side cover is bending away from the um, case but it isn't it's just the, the keyboard propped up on the mouse. Yeah I've got that working I've put in my huge ass ATI Radeon card um, because what I did, I changed the power supply in this. I found a, well, a not so good 500 watt power supply. And by that, I mean, you know, quality wise, it's not as good as like the gold one and the black one down there, but it does the trick. Uh, um, mainly because I didn't want to use the video card power adapter I had on a 250 watt power supply. I weren't, it probably would have worked, but I just weren't comfortable in doing it. You know, I've got the means to go overkill, so I'd rather go overkill and know the system can handle that much power rather than just uh, do it and hope for the best. <laughs> You know, if I can actually do things properly, I will. I don't like to do things in the hope for the best, if I can help it. So yeah, I downloaded the drivers online, they were easy enough to find. Straight from the AMD website, actually. Uh, I also had, well, the reason I've got that inth Ethernet cable out is because I had to go online. Oops. I had to go online and... Uh, Install .NET Framework 2.0 or 2.0 if you prefer. Um, otherwise, the K 
Catalyst Control Center for the ATI Radeon that I've got on here wouldn't work. <laughs> I don't think I really needed it, but you know, again, it's probably better to have it just in case it's installed, it works. Right. Yeah. Anyway, had quite a productive day at Mum's today. My stepdad's got most of the workshop done. In fact, what I might do is charge this camera and take it with me tomorrow, because uh, Sunday, Sunday roast. Um, I bought a tin of black paint for 99p out of QDs this morning, and a paintbrush for 59p, and uh, done my usual cheat, I suppose you could call it, to uh, clean up handlebars, just go over them with a fresh coat of black paint. And the best thing is with the paint I use, you don't need a primer. You just go straight over whatever you're paint, painting. Did you just fart, Nemo? It sounded like you just farted. <laughs> if it is, it's the first time I've heard it. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I did all three bikes I've got at Mum's because they all needed it. It's, it's easier than messing around changing handlebars. And I mean, like I said, all they need is a freshen up, so you might as well just slap some black paint on them like I did. Uh, two of them had metal cranks, so I stuck some black paint on that as well. Oh, my bike has slid over. Oh well. Uh, but I went for a ride on one of them, and one of them's already done. I just had to clean up the handlebars, and that was the purple ladies' bike. The boys rally. Um, that's almost done. I've just got to tweak the brakes. But uh, tyres have held air. Oh, and I've got a bit of emulsion paint to clean off. But tyres have held air. Um, and the other lady's bike, which I can show you on camera tomorrow, I suppose, if I remember the camera. Um, I'm going to change the back wheel for an aluminium one, because it's got a steel one in it. But an aluminium one in the front. The reason for that is, when I bought the bike from the recycle centre, I didn't want the front wheel because it was rusty as hell. Shouldn't really bother with the back wheel, but at least if I've got a steel back wheel there, it's going to get me out of a pickle as those are the wheels I need the most. But just so it's got a pair, I'm going to put an alloy back wheel in it. I've got one sitting there ready to go in. Uh... Swap the cantilever brakes for some cleaner, better ones that I took off. The bike I've got out front here, um, that I'm w still waiting to finish off. Which may not get done till Monday now, but I'm not in any hurry. I've got enough change in my pocket, I think. I hope. <laughs> well, I've got, I feel a big wedge of change in my pocket anyway, so... I'll get me a through the next few days. Um... So yeah, there was something else I wanted to do in the workshop as well. There was something else me and my stepdad thought of. I can't remember what the fuck it was. But yeah, he's now got the tools, or most of the um, power tools he needs to make his algae skimmers all set up in the workbenches um, how he wants them the only electrical thing I did today well I didn't have to do it today but I did it because I had nothing else to do anyway was just um, rearrange a few power outlets upgrade one d single outlet to a double put a double back on the wall that we took off to put the bench in because it had to be raised up the wall um, only by about four inches and another one added next to that one and which was easy because the end of the workshop I'm going to be using I had two double outlets anyway and I don't need to I only need the one if that may not even use that one 
So I just took the one out I didn't need, put it next to the one that my stepdad needed. Then there was one by his router table that he wasn't using. He was using the old cooker outlet. Uh, yeah, so he didn't need the double, so I took that out and swapped that with the single one. So we've got a spare single. That reminds me, I need to find a light switch. I know exactly where there is one. Because he's got a small electric motor. Should switch should be man enough for that. Um, but he wants it on a switch so he can just leave it plugged in. I can show you all that tomorrow. I'll wait until stepdad goes indoors though, because he's not one like that would like to be videoed, so... I'll just wait till I've got a bit of time out there on my own when he goes in for a cup of tea or something, and uh, then I can take the camera over. Oh, oh. you're loving that, aren't you? Look at this. <laughs> Uh, apart from that, I haven't really done a great deal. Not around the flat anyway, that's why um, videos have been quiet. Uh, can't think of anything else. My stepdad wanted me to... Um, is that zoomed in? Yeah, it has. I wonder if I nudged that zoom switch without realising it. Anyway. My stepdad wanted me to change the stereo in the car, in the RAV4, because um, he's got a CD player, but it's got a tape deck head unit in there at the moment. I could have easily done it, but we wouldn't have had a working radio, and we listen to the radio more, uh, because we haven't got the right aerial adapter. We need an adapter. Um, you wouldn't steal the radio out of it in a hurry. You know, there won't be no such thing as a smash and grab, at least. Because it's got, the stereo's got one of them where you have to flip the front panel off. You flip the front panel off, which pretty much voids the stereo anyway, because it's no good without the front panel. You know, that's the whole reason of that design. Um, then, the nicer decorative bezel around the stereo there's two screws at the bottom underneath it. You have to undo both of those. The decorative bezel piece comes off easily. And then the stereo has um, four brackets fitted to it, which are then screwed into the car. So undo them four screws, then you can slide it out. I suppose it wouldn't take long if you've got one of those cordless screwdrivers or something, but still, it just seems like a lot of work. Especially if you one of these crooks that just want to smash and grab. And uh, like I said, if you take the front off anyway and take it with you, then that's, the stereo's no good. <laughs> um, but the reason you want to do that is because you want to run the radio from a 12 volt DC power supply in the workshop with a couple of speakers. But, uh, I think I might still do that if I can find a stereo, because uh, I've got a radio alarm clock in there, but it's so old, it's shit, basically. It really is. Uh, so... When I go down the yard next, I may have a look in the scrap cars and see if I can find an, an adapter. There might be one down there. Might even be a head unit down there somewhere. <sighs> uh, I'm just thinking. It'd be nice to get onto my um, bike project there. I've got a seat at Mum's to put on this, a better one. Slightly better one anyway. It's got rips, but nowhere near as bad as that. <laughs> That's just a gaping hole in the seat. Um, went down the recycling centre again this morning, still the same shit down there, although I did pick up a socket set. It's not complete, but it looks like the sockets themselves are there. So tomorrow, if I get a chance, I'm going to sort them and see what sockets are there. 
I think it's mostly the ratchets and um, other handles and tools that are missing. Which really isn't a problem because we've got ratchets there anyway, so. But it would be just nice to have a socket set there that both me and my stepdad can go to instead of going through all the random loose ones in a tray. <laughs> It takes forever to try and find it. It's nice just to go to a socket set, you know, a proper socket tray, and uh, be able to just go straight to the size socket that you want. And not just rummage around loads of loose ones, taking 10 minutes to find the one that you want. So, uh, it's a Hilka brand as well. I've heard of them, but I don't know how good they are. There is a ratchet in there and a couple of other, you know, handle tools for the sockets. Uh, I think they're half inch drives, if I remember correctly, the large ones. But uh, I don't need sockets here. But I just saw it and thought that's going to be extremely useful to keep in the workshop. So that's why I got it. I only paid £3 for it, so it's better than seeing it go in a scrap bin. It was worth it for uh, what was, or what, yeah, what was in there. Uh, so I'll show you that tomorrow as well. But I'm going to need to charge the camera up. I must remember to do that before um, it is time to go. I'll probably do that tonight, actually. Found the other one of these. It was sitting in front of the TV over there. So I can try and uh, crack into this one later, maybe. Or, I might just chill out at the PC, I don't know yet. Uh, it's been quite a uh, chaotic weekend. <sighs> chaotic in the sense tomorrow will be my fourth day at Mum's. Yeah, I'm quite a... Oh yeah, a friend of mine was supposed to pop up tonight to pick up that tenner. I might just drop him a message, actually. I almost forgot. I'll just drop him a message on Facebook and just let him know I'm in all. Oh, I've got messages. Uh, it's not from him, though. <laughs> dyslexic so I got to keep what I say simple <laughs> um, but he is dyslexic to the point that he can't actually read or write uh, so is my stepdad he has trouble um, writing not so much trouble reading it's the writing he has trouble with um, just trying to think yeah, I actually know uh, a couple, well actually a handful of people with dyslexia. That's why uh, I don't normally become a grammar Nazi online. Um, he's writing something, or he might be getting his girlfriend to write it. Because it's a lot easier to get someone else to write what he wants to say rather than him because he has to ask how to spell every word. <laughs> Bless him. I'm used to it after all these years, it doesn't bother me. <clears throat> I'll just minimise. That's typical, isn't it? I minimise the window and then he... Uh... Okay, see you in a bit. That's if I haven't uh, dashed to the shitter again. <laughs> See you in a bit, he's put back soon. There's a difference. <laughs> I'll give him his CD as well when he pops up. Yeah, I've got really bad guts after eating. Because we had um, 
just something simple, just burgers in a roll with some onions. Uh, but I think I ate four because I had two burger and I was just going to have the one with a sausage in but stepdad didn't want his so I ended up eating that as well. Probably not such a good idea. But yeah, it is pretty much every time I eat a lot of white bread I actually find, you know, the odd couple of slices here and there doesn't have an effect on me, but if I eat like four bread rolls or something a couple of hours later, because that's how long it's been, to maybe two and a half hours, three hours, I'd actually say about two and a half hours since I ate them and uh, yeah, I'm in the loo. <laughs> it's not nice. My mum has said herself, sometimes when she's eating white bread, she gets um, gut pain, so. No white bread, I'm cutting out no white bread rolls. There's a bit of a pain, because that does mean if I'm, you know, if I go to Crumb Carnival or something, I can't risk eating a burger or something off one of these stalls. But, uh, just means I can go and eat something else. <laughs> but uh, you know, I've had times where I've eaten one bread roll and been fine. It just seems that my body doesn't like it a lot in one go. So, if I ever do want white bread, I'm going to have to eat it minimally. Very minimally. Right, anyway, I've got my friend popping over. He hasn't left yet because he's still online. <laughs> Little green dot has lit up. Uh, I was thinking to take a sip from the glass beside me, but then I realised it's been sitting there all day. <laughs> yeah, it's probably flat as a pancake by now. So I got something, a spot of something right at the end of my nose. Right. Oh yeah, the clocks go back. No, they go forwards tonight, not back. So I must remember that before... Well, I'll probably be awake when they change anyway, so... When I actually do go to bed, I'll remember to switch them forwards. I don't have to worry about the computer because it does it all by itself. It's just one up above my head and one in the bedroom. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to have to dash to the loo again. Remind me not to eat white bread again. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.